Apple. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So, in today's video, we need to take a look at ticket symbol J A M F. Jam F. Um, this is a, a, a cloud based uh, platform that is strictly designed to support Apple products. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest, and how to build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So Jam F just started trading um, publicly and the they stock I mean, just skyrocketed. I mean, the initial offering was, I think it's about around like, 20 something dollars and then it opened up the market and went up to 50 um just to start with so uh before we even start looking at you know how what the stock is doing in the market let's take a look at the product what service they're really providing and see there's an opportunity for growth here or what is it so i mean at that point we can conclude if this is a buy or is to stay away from so let's take a look at the actual company and see what product or service they really provide so again guys this is a company that is actually built around um managing apple products so they exist because Apple exists. And if we know for sure that Apple is gonna be around for, um, for I don't know how long, um, this company is gonna be around as well. Um, so um, let's kind of take a look a little bit at the, co the corporate profile here, which I mean, like this day there, their mission here is just to keep people organized with Apple. So um, they, they have a platform that supports um, you know different Apple products and help different organizations like businesses hospitals and government agencies connect for people that use Apple products so you know they connect protect um, you know the different Apple products and the apps and, and everything so um, and, and it's cloud-based which is which is awesome so I think as far as uh, you know people that are using it a lot of people find it difficult for um, for them to just manage you know their products so if you have a, a uh, a company like this that steps in and say, hey, we're, we're gonna do all that management for you, the security and all that stuff. Um, you don't have to worry about it. That is, that's pretty that's pretty unique. That's a niche um, that is great. Um, again, as long as Apple is alive, um, they would probably have a market unless um, Apple decides and say, hey, we saw what you guys have as a product and we have decided to take matters in our own hands and build uh, an in-house product for you know for our customers um, so that is a, a possibility so when I was actually doing this video um, Jam F was actually uh, this is it so it open at um, right here so open at about uh, so open right here at about 50 50 something dollars um, and then if you look at that just just started, you just hit some rejection and you started it going down um, down down and uh, as of when I was recording this video um, it was trading at about thirty six dollars and some change um, so uh, is there an opportunity here uh, I mean it, it's still uh, left to be seen um, I'm surprised that it started really trading that fast or way up there so, um, so this is some news you know just the IPO popping um, after I hit the Nasdaq. So again, the news is that the shares actually jumped um, at about $46 a share. The stock was 46.9 in mid morning, which now if we go back to the chat and look at that, so it does something around mid morning. Now, mid afternoon, um, this, the stocks are down to 36 something, um, which is crazy. Again, this is just, just an early, the first day that the stock is trading. So we'll see how it goes. But just from a, just from a product perspective, um, it seems like they have a good business model. Um, it looks like they have really good uh, different partners that they work with. Um, if you take the look at um, look at some of their customers, so you're talking about Salesforce. Uh, you're talking about um, this is SAP. I mean, this, I mean, we're talking about big software companies that are using these guys. Um, so this is, I mean, this is no joke. So if they have customers like this. Um, I think they are up to something. And so if you have any organization that uses Apple product. It would, that's a potential customers for these guys. So I think it's, it's, a, it's a unique place for them to, to be. So the obvious question here is, hey, Mr. V, is this a buy? Is it a stay away from? Um, I would say that for right now, I, this, now the stock is pulling back. Um, and again, the fact that this is a very, very niche down company, um, their growth is actively tied to 
Apple's growth. So if you think that Apple is going to grow um, in the future, it really expand, and then assume that this company is going to grow as well. Because as Apple grows and, and, and produces more products, they would want to expand your service to be able to uh, support and help people that use those Apple products, so from the apps to all the different Apple products that they have. So that is how you should look at this. It's really, really tied to Apple. Any, any, if any, there's a downtrend in Apple, you would see a downtrend in this, in this, in, in Jam F. And so that's how you should uh, approach it. Uh, as of right now, um, for me, this is going to be a wait, um, maybe down the road, but right now, immediately, I'm not, it's not a buy for me. So um, let me know in the comment section, what do you think about Jam X? What do you think about their business model, like just supporting Apple products and existing because Apple exists? Let me know in the comment section. Again, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and don't forget the notification bell because it really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And as always guys, stay motivated.